Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the basic sim types. Okay guys, let's start to learn about these sim types. Ham finished sim. This ham finish is commonly used in every garment and other sewing projects. Sometimes use overlock or just fold the hem twice. The constructions. Prepare a piece of fabric and mark the folding line. The size is depend on the width of the seam desire. Fold it or roll it just like this. Stitch the seam as close as possible to the folded line. How to make it? Prepare a piece of fabric, turn to the wrong side, fold it twice, the size is depend on the width desire, press it, it can be ironed to make it stay still, and then ready to shoe. Try to stitch as close as possible to the folded seam line, and here is the result. The right side has flat surface with top stitching. And the wrong side is just like this. Plain seam, open seam. This seam is common on Kerman and easy to make. Usually used in solder, bag, and often in all the part of the garment. The constructions. Place the first fabric and mark the seam line. Place the second fabric right side together and mark the seam line. Soon the stitch to the seam line. Overlock the seam allowance edge on each piece separately. The construction when it's open is like this. How to make it? Prepare two pieces of fabric. Mark the right side and wrong side. Put it in layer right side together. Mark the seam line about 1 cm seam allowance. Ready to shoe. Remember to lock the stitch in the beginning and at the end of the seam line. Sew the both fabrics in the seam line, trim the thread, open the garment sample, turn to the wrong side where the seam allowance is, open seam allowance and press it in the middle. Overlock the seam allowance edge each side separately. The purpose of overlocking is to avoid the fraying. Here is the result of the right side. The right side in this seam usually used for the outside of the garment. And this is how the wrong side looks like with the open seam. Plain seam, closed seam. This seam is more common to use in the part of the garment and other sewing crafts. The constructions. Put the first piece of fabric and mark the seam line. Put the second piece on top and mark the seam line. Sew the stitch to the seam line. Overlock the two pieces of seam allowance together. How to make it? Prepare two pieces of fabrics. Mark the right side and the wrong side. Put it in layer right side together and then ready to shoe with 1 cm seam allowance. Remember to lock the stitch in the beginning and at the end of the seam line. Shoe the both fabrics following the seam line. Trim the thread. Open the garment sample. Turn to wrong side where the seam allowance is. And then prepare to overlock the seam allowance edge. Overlock the two pieces together until the end of the seam line. And here is the result seen from the wrong side. We can see the overlock in the edge of the seam allowance. And this side is the right side. Plain seam, close seam with double top stitching. Actually, this is a just a closed seam but adding two top stitching. It's common in some denims and some other swing seams depend on the purpose. The constructions. Do the same steps as the closed seam. 
Open the sample like this so it will be in the right side. And then do top stitching next to seam line and the seam allowance edge. How to make it? Prepare the fabric. Do the same steps as the closed seam. Open the garment sample and put the seam allowance in the one side. And add the first top stitching close to the seam line where the seam allowance is under it so it will be attached with the stitch. So the result will be like this. And then do the second stitching. Try to make it in the top of the seam allowance A so it will be neat in the wrong side. The result from the right side is like this with two top stitching. And then the wrong side will be like this with overlock. French seam The French seam has the same look as plain seam in the right side, while the wrong side has neat seam allowance finish without overlocking. The constructions Put the pieces fabric in layer wrong side together, sew the seam line, Open the fabric to cover the seam allowance, just like this. And then, trim the new seam line to cover the seam allowance. How to make it? Prepare two pieces of fabrics. Mark the right side and wrong side. Put it in layer, wrong side together. Tune the both fabrics with half centimeter seam allowance and then open the sample like this and then fold to the other side. Now right side will be together and press the seam line to make it neat and then ready to sew with 1 cm seam allowance. Sew along the seam line until finished. The result from the right side is just looks like plain seam and the wrong side will be like this neat without overlock. Machine fell seam This seam looks like a plain seam with double top stitching but the wrong side is different neat without overlock. The constructions First fabric with 1 cm seam allowance, the second fabric with 2 cm seam allowance, then stitch the seam line. The both fabrics will have 1 cm different seam allowance. Fold out the longer seam allowance to cover the short ones, and then fold the short fabric to cover all the seam allowance, just like this. And then add the top stitching. How to make it? Prepare two pieces of fabrics, first fabrics with wrong side on the top and then put the second fabric on top of the first so we'll be wrong side together and the seam allowance has 1 cm cup like this. So it will be one fabric has 2 cm seam allowance and the other one has only 1 cm seam allowance. And then stitch the seam line 2 cm from the edge of the seam allowance. The result will be like this. Open the garment sample with right side in the top. This is how the seam allowance looks like. They have 1 cm different size between the both fabric. Fold the wider seam allowance to cover the narrow seam allowance. Continue to roll it like this. And then do the top stitching as close as possible to the edge of seam allowance. This is right side with two top stitchings. And then the wrong side with one top stitching knit without overlock. Let's 
let's have a quick look about plain seam with top stitching and machine fell seam. The both right side have the same look. The difference is in the wrong side. The wrong side of plain seam has overlock finish, while the right side of machine fell is neat without overlocking. Lap seam. The lap seam usually used for decorations, easy and quick to make. The constructions. The first fabric as a base. Fold the second fabric and spare 1 to 1.5 cm for seam allowance. Tune the stitching line and then finish the seam with overlocking. How to make it? Prepare two pieces of fabrics. First fabric with right side on the top, and then put the second fabric on the top of the first one right side together. Open and fold the second fabric like this. So the folding distance to the seam allowance edge is about 2 cm. And then sew in the stitch line about half cm from the folding line. Here is the half centimeter lap seam. The seam element is about 1.5 cm for easy overlocking. Finish the seam elements with overlocking. The result of the lap seam. This is the right side with half centimeter lap, and this is the wrong side with the seam allowance overlock. Channel seam. The channel seam is two lap seams together, which are face to face each other. The constructions The first fabric is the base. Fold the second fabric and spare 1 to 1.5 cm seam allowance. Shoe the stitching line and then finish the seam with overlocking. Do the same steps to another lap. How to make it? Prepare three pieces of fabrics. First fabric with right side on top as a fabric base. Put the second fabric on top of the first right side together. Open and fold the second fabric like this. So the folding distance to the seam allowance edge is about 2 cm. And then shoe in the stitch lines about half cm from the folding line. Here is the first lap seam. And then we install the second lap seam. Just do the same steps as the first lap. The distance between the two lap seams is depend on the design. In this sample, have no distance between it. Here is the right side with two lap seams. And the wrong side. Cut away the leftover fabric on base, so it will be only 1 cm seam allowance each side. Finish the seam allowance with overlocking for both sides. Here is the right side of channel seam, which is consists 2 lap seams and 1 base. The wrong side with the seam allowance overlock in the both side. With these basic seam types, we can easily start our sewing projects. We will discuss about more advanced seam types in the next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Leave the comment down below what next video we should discuss in our channel. Subscribe for more video and if you like this video gives me thumbs up.